understand. Listen to me. I am not disagreeing with the necessity for a relationship. No, you are to do it. You are old enough. What I don't understand, what I am quarreling with, is the propriety of this relationship. A business man. We do nothing about him. Nothing. Look, Rose, you must make one concession. For as long as you remain under my tutelage, as your father, make the decisions for you. I think I know what is best for you, don't you think so? Daddy, I'm not disputing that. But like you rightly said, I'm old enough to choose who I want. Daddy, let me make my choice. Let me make my mistakes. I will bear the consequences, but let me just make my mistakes and learn from them. Rose. Rose. Listen to your father. We are your parents. We mean good for you. That young man might not be bad after all. But the problem is his background. Yes. Businessman Rose, God forbid. Your future is not guaranteed. But if you're married to the vice president's son today, your future is guaranteed. Your father will have all the connections with the high and mighty in the society. Your son might even be the vice president in future or the president himself. Oh, don't you want me to be an in-law to the vice president? Eh? Forget about this young man. Forget about him. He's just an ordinary businessman. Mommy, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he's a businessman. What's important is that we love each other. I, I don't know how else to beg you. Mommy, I love Harry with my life. I, I want to be happy. Daddy, I want to marry him. Now I know that that gambler has a diabolical grip on you. And because of that, you want to scuttle my only opportunity of ever hobnobbing with those at the very top. Listen to me. If I ever see that young man here again, if I ever hear any mention of his name again in this house, Rose, Rose, we are your parents. Stand up, sit down, sit down, sit down. Talk to him. I can see you're deeply in love. I'll talk to your Why father. Why does Daddy not want to understand me? Why is he so angry? I love this man. It's okay. I love this man. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> By the way, did you did you spare us as much as hundred thousand naira? Because he never stops spending. I wasn't counting. <laughs> Harry, Harry, you are so wonderful. You are my pillar, my strength. Without you, our traditional wedding wouldn't have been successful. You are so wonderful, honestly. God will bless you. Thank 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 you. I do this for outsiders, not to talk of my own uh, elder brother. What are brothers for? At a time, in fact, I got to a point, I had lost all hope. I thought it wasn't going to be successful any longer. May God bless you. God will reward you. It's only God that can reward you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Well, what is obvious though is that, uh, Russ, you can't be going out again to all that all night parties. And all that. <laughs> you can no longer be seen to be staying out and. And not rushing back home because now you have a lovely woman to, to go back home to. So you can always rush home. What is even more important is that whatever money you have now, you have to, you know, start saving and, and using properly because my dad will be there too. <laughs> to be checking everything, watching every cover that is coming in. Of course. I know that uh, marriage is a thing of responsibility. 
Uh, now, I begin to save for our wife. No, our fine wife. <laughs> <laughs> for our beautiful wife. Well, I'm, uh, I'm glad that this is coming from his own mouth, you see. Because our people say that it is the way you lay your bed that you will have it. Exactly. So if you get home on time, you make your wife happy. Yeah. Uh, just let me just give uh, me one minute. Yes. I don't know how to thank Harry. Harry. Harry surprised me, you know. He did. He just took me. Something small for you to add to whatever you have already. Um, Continue from there. Honey, what is this? Another check. Wow. Two million. Hey, Harry. Two million naira. Harry, you are so bad. Harry, thank you so much. You are so wonderful. Sit down, sit down. Don't you do this for me? Yeah? God bless you. Darling, we have tried our best telling Rose the ills of marrying that man, but she still insists. I think if we go on and on and on telling her not to marry this man, we're going to sound unreasonable. What I'm trying to say is that we should let her marry the man. Like she told me, she's in love with him. And she will find all happiness with him. Please, darling, please. This one that she has run to live with the man is not the best for us. Please, please, darling, please. I'm not surprised you're saying this. I know that you've conspired with your daughter to queer my chances of ever making it to the top. That girl is my only child. And I have gone to every length to ensure that I arrange a comfortable future for her. What do I mean by that? I want her to marry somebody of substance. Whatever arrangement you are making, count me out of it. You want me to endorse my daughter marrying somebody whose credentials I can't even verify. I will not do that. If the young man remembers to give you any bright price, please take it and do what you like with it. I am not part of it. Darling, please, 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 darling, please. businesses you can think about. A white man is involved. A German. There is direct supply. And um, if you want my opinion, huh? I will say stay away. Whether a white man or a yellow man or a green man is involved, it doesn't matter. These days anything can happen. Besides, are you a pharmacist? Why don't you stay away from pharmaceutical business and do the one that you know? If I tell you that I do not appreciate all that you've been doing for me and my family, I will be lying. You have been so wonderful. I don't think I will have, I'll be able to do anything without you. You have been so, so supportive. And everyone sees it. Everyone knows. And people are talking about it. They are jealous about our family. One thing I want you to know. If I make money. If I make money. What I will do for you. Anyway. Um, 
I don't want to talk too far. I will be needing financial support so that I well, can... Well, I see that you have um, made up your mind to do this business. Yes, I know it is a good one. Okay, well, my checkbook is not here with me. Uh, but don't let that worry you. You will come back and see me in the office later. I will give you the money. But please, Martin, Biko, oh, make sure that nothing happens to this money. Not at all, at all. No, no, listen, no. You have to make sure that nothing happens to the money, Martin. I promise to you, nothing will happen to it. Now look at me, look at me. Do you think a man of my age will be lying to you? Do you think at my age I will allow anybody to cheat me? Of course, certainly I will not tolerate that. After all that I have been through in life, I'm not a small boy. Nothing will happen to it, I promise you. Regret. Um, there's no cause for alarm. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, who is this? Okay. 5 p.m. All right. Uh, no problem, no problem. Uh, just that my client is worried, and I assured him that uh, you people. Uh, honest people. Yes. It's okay. All right. Bye. The container will land by 5 p.m. <laughs> so no problem. Well, I have heard what you said. I just want you to know that uh, money is hard to come by these days. I know. I will be here first thing tomorrow morning. Okay? Uh, please. Please. I don't want anything to happen to this money. Because my brother warned me about this business. You have to do your best. No disappointments. Forget about this about. Some people don't like another person to be rich. You have nothing to regret. You have no problem. You see, your brother might be envious of you. You have nothing to regret. No problem. Anyway, huh? I'll see you. Extend my greetings to your wife. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> ah, Ross, you are here. You're welcome. So, I'm looking for the people here. There is this stocky, heavily bedded man in his mid 40s. I am looking for him. You mean this one, people? What did you just say? It's for 419. Listen, if you cherish your money, don't do anything with these people. Hey! Oh, my brother warned me. Oh. Hey! Who will go and find the police? Who will go and find the police? Who will go and find the police? Come 
and somebody came and arrested him with the police and as I'm talking to you, he's in the cell. And all the money is gone. What? And I warned him. I warned him. I told him not to do this business. Didn't I warn him? The problem with Martin is that he doesn't listen. He doesn't listen. He's always desperate when he wants to do something. And a desperate man will make mistakes. I know it. I know now the money is gone. And the freedom to even be outside to chase money and look after your family is gone. What, what, what kind of human being is this? Brother Harry, please, you have to help. I have nowhere else to go. I have no one else to go to. But this is all I have. The worst is that the police is charging him for 419. That is 10 years in prison, my right? too. You won't allow your brother to waste him there, please. You remember I warned you. Getting him out of jail is not the problem. How will he not recover the money from the, the, the 409 people? You remember I gave him the money. And I told him, watch that money, oh. Martin, watch the money. Uh, let us bring him out first now. Then we begin to think along that line. I beg you, please. Get up, get up. I don't like to see you like this. Because of you. Because of you. No. Because of you. I know. I will go and see the commissioner of police. I'll try and get him out. I know it is such a bother to me. Oh, Martin. and now you are coming back to me to, to, to come and do what? To ask me for money? I, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? I don't no, know. Uche, answer me. What would you do? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Huh? But I believe the devil must have a hand in this. Otherwise, why wouldn't I listen to you? Why didn't I listen to you? Hell. Anyway, I have not come to to ask for money. I did not come to ask for money. It's just that I'm just wondering how I will stay idle. That's all. Oh, so you want to blame the devil for what has happened? What has happened now? You want to put put the blame on the devil? When you were doing this, you didn't see the devil on the road. Now the, the devil has suddenly appeared. 
I think you should leave the devil out of this. Huh? Leave, leave him out of this. Leave him out of this and face the problem yourself. Brother, <sighs> please help us. The world will laugh at us. We have no one else in this whole world except you. Look at me. Eh? Look at me and look at my newborn baby, your baby. My wife, I don't like you doing this. Stand up, stand up, please. please. Look at your wife. I mean, look at your wife. Look at the woman who just gave birth. Look at the emotional stress you are putting her through. Honestly, if not for this woman here and, and, and your child, the newborn baby, I would have turned my back on you. I would have. This is probably the, the, the fourth or, or, or fifth time I'll be giving you last sums of money. Okay. I will help. Help, but this will be the last time. Don't worry, stand up. Bless stand up. You. Stand up. Oh, I don't know how to thank you, my brother. I don't know how to thank you. But one thing I want to say is this in my next world, I want you to be my brother. Any debt that will come to you. Let it come to me. No, no, it's that is my wish. Yeah, you know, you cannot be kneeling down and I'm standing. Uh, God will bless you. God will bless you. Too. Thank you very much. Uh, God will bless you. You are my blood. I cannot reject you. Right? And uh, let's not forget, your wife is here. Uh, your your mate is here. Yeah? So, uh, hey. uh, Rosie. Yes, yes. Come now, come and say hello to your husband. Uh -huh. Rose, how are you? Rosie. Why did you call me like you promised? I want to. Whatever project he wants to do, let him do it. <laughs> He's a man of peace. Hmm? He loves to help people. Hmm? Uh, by the way, let me thank you for taking care of you. <laughs> and Harry, I, uh, I must thank you too for yeah. taking care of our wife. Akogaya! Akogaya! I just wanted you to greet them. Maybe you should. of hospitals but the doctors are saying they cannot find anything so I'm, I'm just I don't know what to do native doctor that I know and there is no sickness that he cannot cure. No sickness. Mm -hmm. hmm? You will see him. 
Please, leave the nurses doctors out of it. How are you native doctors have we gone to in the past? What did they do for us? Nothing. They just leave you more confused, just give you false assurances. If I tell you that I'm not confused, they are lying. that no matter the medication he gives to you, he still makes it with prayers. And that works wonders. Okay? We will still give it a trial. Hmm? Just okay. Rose. Okay. Uh, Rose. at the hospitals and doing a lot of lab tests and they can't seem to tell me what's happening. God damn it, look, this one is quite beyond test. Okay, it is quite beyond test. Um, I guess we have to pursue this thing spiritually. Mm. Yeah. And uh, there's this um, Reverend Father I know of who organizes um, Saturday prayers at the Kotu. Yes, I guess we have to pay him a visit. Eh, Mecca, can't we go now? Yes, um, but quite unfortunate, he doesn't see people without appointment, you know. You know, that means I will have to go there and book an appointment for this Saturday. This Saturday? This Saturday. So you have to get ready. Anything. Uh-huh. Time's all I have now. I am quite sorry for everything. Look, you have to cheer up. There's nothing God cannot do. Do you understand? This is my very good friend by name Harry. All of a sudden he became sick and ever since that period he's been so weak. He has gone for all the tests but nothing seems to be found. 
so we thought it wise to come and see you. Do you believe in God? Yes. And that there is nothing God cannot do? Now let us pray. Father, I thank you for there is nothing you cannot do. I thank you for a moment like this. Because I know you will show yourself strong in the affairs of your son. Father, I know that there is no weapon fashioned against him that will prosper. In the name of Jesus. So this moment, Lord, I call upon you. Reveal every works of darkness in his life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Peter. Satan, I denounce you. Satan, I denounce you. I have nothing to do with you. I have nothing to do with you. God, I call upon you. Come and take control of my life. God, I call upon you. Come and take control of my life. With you by my side, Satan has no power over me. With you by my side, Satan has no power over my body. And from this day on, I claim you as my Lord and Savior. From this day on, I claim you as my Lord and Savior. Jehovah, Ide Bube, Ebeno, Jehovah, Ide Bube, Jehovah, Ide Bube, Ebeno. The battle is not a physical one, but spiritual. You have to be in constant touch with God. And never cease to pray. Because Satan has vowed that he will not perish alone. But I tell you, the battle is of the Lord. The weapons are not carnal, but mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Continue to pray. God is in control. Just keep it. <coughs> said anything at all. Daddy, what I'm what I'm trying to say is that I don't know if there's anything you can do to help us. Mommy, please talk to me. Tell Daddy that Harry is my life and I don't want anything to happen to him. Please. Mommy, please. Darling. Darling, please. Please, let's help him. 
Remember, she's our only child. Please, darling, please. You must be out of your mind. As if I didn't warn you, Rose. I warned you from the very start not to have anything to do with that man. You insisted. It was your life. You were in love with him. I should allow you to make your mistakes. You can dress up to the consequences. You said all that. Now you are beginning to experience the consequences. And what do you do? You run back to me, your father, on your knees, expecting me to perform some miracle. You must be out of your mind, Rose. You must be. Listen to me. Go back to your husband. Um, ask him the origin of his problems. Your husband is a businessman. He may have duped somebody in the course of business, you never can tell. And he's beginning to suffer the repercussions. Yeah. Find out from him. Because of your obstinacy, your decision to marry him, you effectively barricaded me from the corridors of power. Your father. Now you get stuck, and you come down here kneeling before me. Expecting miracles. It doesn't happen that way. Furthermore, the truth of the matter is, I can't. I just can't. Besides, you know that I am not a medical doctor. Therefore, there is absolutely nothing I can do. But there's a way out. Take your husband to the hospital. That's where they treat people who are not well. Let them give him some attention. Huh? I know that you can do that. I'm already late for my appointment. you have to do now, you have to be very fast. So, so what am I supposed to do? You have to get anybody who will be willing to donate his kidney. And you have to start coming for dialysis as a temporary measure. On my own part, I will arrange the hospital overseas to take care of the treatment. But it is it's going to cost you some money. How much? Let's say between one eighty to two hundred thousand um, dollars. I I am sorry to say this. You have between now and two months hmm? to do anything you have to do because this thing has really eaten deep into your system. I'm sorry. Look, we need to find 
solution. This is big. I know. I know. I'm, I'm so confused. I, I don't know what to do. But don't be confused. We will take it one step at a time. I will go and talk to my brother, Martin, and see what he has to say. Although with him, you never know where, <laughs> where he's standing. What about your sister? My sister, you know, she's married and she will need permission from her husband, so it's easier to. Well, I can understand that with your sister, yes. But your brother, you have to talk to him. Hmm? I will. I will talk to him. I mean, he can only say yes or no. $200,000 is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. That's more than 20 million naira. And that does not include our tickets, yeah? I know what we'll do. Maybe we'll sell some of the cars. Sell a few other things. Why don't I just try and talk to my parents and see if they can help? You think that's a good idea? Yes. Let me try. Okay. Okay? Proud of us to a doctor and the, the doctor asked us to go to the lab where his ailment was diagnosed as um, kidney failure. Kidney failure? Yes, doctor. God. What's your next line of action? Daddy, they said um, we have between now and the next two months. And anything later than that can be very dangerous. So, what are you going to do now? Huh. It costs $200,000. Daddy, that's apart from getting the kidney donor. Mm. And Harry's business is in trouble. In fact, we don't have any money. We don't have anything at all. Hmm. This is happening at a very, very bad time. Can you believe it, Rose? Sitting down here now, as I am talking to you, seven of my containers have been detained at the wharf by the customs officials and it will require a huge sum of money to release those containers. I don't know if you heard that my accountant ran away with a huge sum of money. Yeah, he did. And until now, um, we've not been able to trace him, even though I reported the matter to the police. Um, I did some contract for the government and I was expecting to be paid. I would have made some gains, there's some benefit, but uh, well, you know how it is in our country. Because I'm not connected, I'm not even sure they're thinking about paying me. 
So my financial situation is worse than hopeless. Um, as for the kidney, you know, we are not relations. So um, even if I donated a kidney, it may not be useful to him. No, no, Daddy, I'm not talking about a kidney. I, I'm just, I'm just asking for financial help. That, that's all. This is a matter of life and death. Please. <sighs> My situation is tight, very tight, but um, mm, all right. Okay, uh, come in on Saturday. Hmm? This Saturday, yeah. Come on Saturday, okay. Make sure you take everything. You see, Harry has been so too good to us. He's been so wonderful. But I, when I think about refusing to assist him or help him, uh, it hurts me really, honestly. It's just that his uh, request that I donate one of my kidneys to him is difficult. If it were to be some other thing, I wouldn't have uh, disappointed him. As for me, I don't want to be a widow yet. He has been of immense contribution to this home, I agree. But that is not enough reason for you to lose your life. I mean, how can... Is it? Is it? Please, try and sound very good. I think it will be. My brother is very smart. Let's go to the city, please. Please, you have to be very careful. My brother is very smart. Your health. Well, like you can see, God is in control. Amen. Amen. You're welcome. Where's my brother? Uh, he just stepped out. I'm surprised you didn't meet him at the gate. Because he just left. He didn't take his car? Oh no, a friend of his came to pick him. Tell him I'll see him tomorrow at 3. I will. I will. <laughs> uh, Brother Harry, please don't take this illness to heart. Hmm? Always remember that the good Lord will never let you down. What? <laughs> My love to Rosie. <laughs> bye bye, sir. Bye bye, sir. As you said. You are welcome, my daughter. Thank you, baby. Um, these are very trying times. We must brace up to brass tacks. Let's call a spade a spade and not a garden spoon, as a lot of people are wont to call it. 
um, kidney diseases, uh, normally terminal, um, uh, they don't leave you with too much hope. The son of the president of Zanzibar was killed by kidney disease. The daughter of the Queen of Bhutan, the princess, went the same way. You see, there is something about this kidney ailment. You can survive on dialysis for a short while, and when the operation is conducted, there's always this lingering case of incompatibility, which is why most times the, uh, the people do not pull through. So what, what I am suggesting you do is to concern yourself with looking after uh, the child that you now have. I think um, it is the best thing you can do in the circumstance. Darling, you have to give her the money like you promised her. I don't want your opinion on this issue. Shut up. Darling, please. Please, don't talk I don't believe you just said this. It was not really my intention to say the way I said it, but like I said, we've got to face up to brass tacks. Um, uh, we shall all die someday. That's the common destiny of man, but we are not all destined to die on the same day. It's our lot as human beings. We can't escape it. This is why I'm saying that the best thing for you to do in the circumstance is to concern yourself with the care of your child. Um, it will not avail you much running around and trying to borrow money from all sources when you know that uh, the chances of survival are slim. That's, that's, that's what I think you should do. Since he said he will be coming by 3 o'clock, i like to get out of the house before he catches me. Uh -huh. Yes. Open that gate. I know, but since you said you'll be coming by 3 o'clock, so I said, let me quickly rush up somewhere and uh, come back to meet you. But Martin, it's almost 3 o'clock. I know, but my house is your house. I would have still met you. It's just somewhere near here. Anyway, go in, let, let's go. In. You're not... No, let's go. In. Since you're here, let's. Uh... Uh, what up, madam?
Matt, I will not waste your time. I came to collect what you promised me on the phone so I can add to the money that I have and see what can be done. But as I was coming, it occurred to me that the money is not even the problem. Because by the time I sell all of this and a few more things, I will have more than enough money to go. What is more important is the kidney. Instead of me going to America and then staying there and looking for a kidney up and down, the doctor is saying that it will be faster if maybe you can donate one of your kidneys. So I will appreciate it if maybe you can go and see the doctor and let him do all the necessary tests. And then it will just make everything easier. Uh, what about um, our sister, uh, your twin? Have you, you approach her? Martin, I can't go and be talking to Harriet now. She's, she's somebody's wife. She's responsible to somebody. I can't go and be telling her. We can't. That is why I came to you, Martin. You are my brother, and my own blood and, and flesh as well. Harry. I will not deceive you, Ari. Honestly. I I have been thinking. I'm not sure this thing will work. It, it's difficult. I, I don't think um, this will work, really. So, what are you saying? I, I don't know how else to... I don't know how to explain this to you, really. This issue of my... Donating one kidney to you. Supposing after doing that, the operation is not successful. And on my own part, too, I lose my life in the process. What happens to your wife and, and your child? And what happens to my wife and family? The doctor said it doesn't mean that the donor will just die. And, and once we have an understanding that at least you want to give me the kidney, then God will take control of the rest. At least let us get the, that understanding first. You can't be talking of death now. Harry, Harry, Harry. Akokalia, I, I also want you to look at the other aspect of it. Supposing something happens and you die in the process. And uh, I too, I lose my life. Do you know the import of that? That means that our lineage will be closed forever. And, and besides that, who will take care of your wife and your, your, your child? What about my wife and my children? That is the problem, really. It is better for us to lose one head than for two of us to die in the process. Martin. You have to do me this one favor, please. I've never really asked you for anything before. Just do me this favor, please. You are my last hope. Harry, honestly, I, I pray, I pray for you to go and have a successful operation. I'll be with you fervently. Uh, but uh, it's really a difficult uh, decision for us to make. Disappointed by the ones you trust. Fear not, there's a way out for you. Put your hope in God. When He says yes, no one can say no. Ooh. Has the world failed you? Trusting God. Okay. Trust in God, He's a friend who cares for you. Trust in God, when He says yes, no one can say no. I shall not die, but live and declare. 
I shall prosper and be in good health. With long life shall Jehovah God satisfy me. So what did God my yes, father-in-law say? No one shall sing me. My father... My father didn't want to hear of it. He says it's, um, it's a waste of time and money. Mm. Well, my brother Martin is saying the same thing. He said it is um, an exercise in futility. <laughs> and honey, you know what? I think they are both right. beginning to come to terms with the fact that um, this illness has no cure. And since it has no cure, and I'm beginning to absorb the fact that since it has no cure, that I'm ready to die. Harry! Harry! Where is your faith? Why are, you, why are you talking like this? Your brother and my father have condemned you. So? God has not. Honey, where there is life, there is hope. No matter what, life is the ultimate. I don't care if we have to sell this house, we will sell it. We will raise the money and send you abroad. We will sell the house. There is no point. There is no point in selling the house. Suppose you now sell the house and you will raise the money. And after all of it, I do not survive. Where will you and the children stay? I don't care. We will go to the village. We will start all over again. I don't care. At least let me satisfy my conscience. Let me know I've done everything I could do. Okay. You think that that is the biggest problem? That's not the biggest problem. Even if we raise the money, who will donate the kidney? Where will I find a matching kidney? But you haven't even spoken to your twin sister. Talk to her now. Eh? Hey? What do you give, what do you think negative of everything I come up with? Why? Why is your faith? Honey, you, you both have the same thing, same, same blood, same flesh, same everything. kidney transplant operation. I have come to meet you as a brother and a friend to see if you can help me raise any amount of money that you can. Harry, mm -hmm. I would have loved to help you. Why not? Are we not friends? But the point is that market is bad. Market is bad. I feel like joker. There's nothing I can do for you now. I'm very sorry. Well, the amount I'm looking for is, is actually $200,000. But I'm not expecting that you give me all of that. Just finding out uh, whatever you can give to me, I will get the rest for you, gather the rest around. Um, and you know me, I'm good for it. It's refundable. Huh. It's not a question of whether you will refund me the money or not. 
Do you know why I'm annoyed now? Eh? Do you know why I'm annoyed? If only you came last month. Only last month. If only you came here last month. Hi! I would have given you the money now. But now, now, business is bad. You can't even put hand in the market. Oh, what are we going to do about this matter? Why not try uh, Masha? Yes, try Masha. You know this container that came two weeks ago? Yes, Masha. Try Masha. All I've been getting is roadblocks and disappointments. I will call him and see what can happen. Mm, call him. This container came back to me. Some money for my accommodation about 200,000 naira and some other things. You know, I don't have anybody except you. You don't need to bother yourself, you don't need to ask. See, I'll give you a check of 300,000 naira mm. to cover other things. I promise you one thing as long as you keep on being my babe. More money will come. Right? Okay. I will. Masha, it's Harry. I, I, I'm just um, calling to find out um, if I can come and see you now to pick up the money that that you promised me. Harry, you say I, I have a very big problem now. I would have loved to give you the money, but I have a very big problem. I lost my mom. I lost my mom and uh, I'm going to spend a whole lot of money burying her. But as I'm talking with you now, I'm in a very big meeting discussing Habera. But, but Masha, I, I, I thought you said that you, you lost your mother two years ago. Oh, did I actually say that? Yes. Oh, that was my grandma. That was my grandma. This time around, it's my mom, you know. You see, you don't need to bother yourself about all these things. I. Yes, I'll make it up to you. I promise you, I'll give you. You see? I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. God will work everything out for you. Right? You don't need to bother yourself. I'm in a very big tight corner now. I would have helped. But just, just, just relax. Relax. Everything will be okay. All my friends have abandoned me. These are people that I used to give money. Baby, don't worry. I know that God will make a way where there is no way. Mm. I, I wish I could help you, you know what? I wish I could give you. I wish I could give you. I know that you will give me the two that you have if it will work. The purpose of my journey, of my 
visit is a little bit um, heavy. So I don't know how to just say it out like that. Go ahead, feel free. Say whatever you want to say. You know that um, I am scheduled to travel to America for my kidney transplant operation. Yes, I'm aware of that. So instead of just um, going there and uh, staying there and just wasting money and waiting for them to get a, a, a matching kidney, the doctors here are saying that if I can get any of my blood relations to donate their own, that the chances of matching is faster. If that's the case, um, why don't we get Martins to do that? <laughs> Martin, uh, you, you know your brother. You're in law. One minute he's a human being, the next minute he's something else. He has, he has said that it's an exercise in futility. In fact, he has condemned me to death in his own books. That is why I said uh, I should visit you people so that um, sister will, will help me to maybe donate one of her own what? kidneys. Hey, wait, wait, wait. My, my wife. Mm, sorry, your wife. Donate her kidney to you. Okay, it's, 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 it's not that the Please. person that donates. I, I know. The person I, won't die. I, I understand. I know. Please. If you want me to do any other thing for you, I will. Mm. But leave this is you out of it. It's not that the person that donates it will just die. I you know, know, I understand. Because I she can still live with one kidney. I know, I know. But please, if he requires money, money, any amount, I will give it to you. But if it's a question of your sister, donate, please, please, please. My wife, your sister, she's everything to me. She's a mother to me, a father to me. My entire life revolves around her, please. If you want me to kneel down for me, I'll, I'll beg you. It please. Uh, come. please, 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 please. Oh. Mm. I will not uh, waste much of your time. If it pleases God that this illness will kill me, then uh, I'm ready to die. It also pleases God that it will kill me. He has to provide a solution and it's real quick too. Harry, Harry, you will not die. You will not die. Harry, you will not die. Harry. It's in God's hands now. Stop crying. Huh? <laughs> oh, my Stop crying. Thank God you are not injured. 
Please. Stop crying. Please. What am I going to do? Auntie will kill me. She won't kill you. See, I will take the blame. I will, I will tell Auntie that I did it. You can't do that. She will beat you. No. She won't beat me. Have you forgotten that we are twins? One spirit. One mind. One soul. One flesh. Though we're two different bodies. I will tell her that I broke the bucket. Will you really do that for me? Please, Please stop crying. Wipe your tears. It's all right. It's about my brother. Yes. I'm feeling for him. What are you trying to say? I'm ready to donate my kingdom. You what? Please try and understand me. Understand what? He's my brother. He's not just an ordinary brother. He's my twin brother. We came into this world the same day. I have two kidneys. My brother just needs one to live. I can still live with one. Honey, please let me save my brother's life this once. Please. I don't want to hear you say this again. Have you thought about the children? Huh? Should anything happen to you? Have you thought about them? I don't want to hear this again. Please. Please. Nothing is going to happen to me. If it is his will, that we go the same way we came. Then so be it. I know that God will not will such for us. Only God is on the throne, nothing will happen to us. We will go back, but please. 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 Garrett, it is not as if I don't understand how you feel. But I want you to think about your children. Think about them. Should anything happen to you, I don't want to lose you. You will lose me. We come. I will come back. Only God that will bless you and reward you abundantly. It's all right. Huh? It's actually your sister that you should be thanking for um, accepting to um, let you have part of her kidney, and so you can uh, you can leave. No, uh, no, 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 no,
no matter what, I, I still owe you people a lot. Auntie. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you for everything. Thank you. Please get up. We thank God. It's all right. Eh? You're giving us a new lease of life. It's okay. Thank you. It's all right. Thank God. Please get up. It's okay. Get up. Um, well, Ken, I, I know that um, you, I've asked you for so much already. Well, I am going to behave like Oliver Twist <laughs> and still ask for um, one more favor. Uh, whilst I'm gone, I would like for my wife and child to come and live with you people, if that is okay. What about your house? Um, we had to sell the house. You sold the house? Oh no, come on Harry, you shouldn't yeah. have. No matter what, you should have come to me. You, you had given us life. Uh, after giving us life, I couldn't come back to you and now ask you for money again. Um, it was easier to sell the house because everybody had turned me down at some point or the other. So, anyway, that, that, that is not a problem. Where there is life, there is hope. It's all right. When they're ready, okay? They can come over. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. Okay? No problem. Thank you. Thank you. So far. Alright. Alright. Uh good. We'll get through this. Yes, we will. Will you? It's okay. to us. You were a mother to us. You were everything. I doubt it if we will survive should anything happen to you. Honey, nothing will happen. All I want you to do is to pray for us. His grace, we shall go and we shall come back.
Are you weak and heavy hearted? Disappointed by the ones you trust? Fear not, there's a way out for you. Put your hope in God. When He says yes, no one can say no. Has the world filled you? Trust in God. Is there no way out for you? Just trust in God. He's a friend who cares for you. Trust in God. When He says yes, no one can say no. I shall not die. But live and declare, I shall prosper and be in good health. With long life, shall Jehovah God satisfy me? God says yes. God says yes to me. No one shall say no. No one can say no. Stand up. Has the world filled you? Trust in God. Is there no way out for you? Just trust in God. He's a friend who cares for you. Trust in God. When He says yes, no one can say no. I shall not die. But live and declare. Chime kenki bwe ina putaram mama mona nansamu anga menyege keleo eke loma kam genyegi. O to toma kam jiribia, abundi so kam gavu, idingo zina iduku, bareme yemchineke, kam keto kene liwe, okwagi, okwagi sinige buru mibua. told you to stop thinking about them. That they'll be fine. Alright? Uncle, something is wrong. There, it's nothing wrong, Rose. Nothing wrong. Something is wrong. Why haven't they called? Something is wrong. Peace and love of Christ be unto this house. Oh, Father, please you're welcome, man. Eh? And also with you. Please come. Thank you. Welcome, Father. Oh, see that, Father. Are you alright? Father, I, I have a strong feeling that my husband is dead. Rose! And you know about it. Come on, why are you talking like this? Where is your faith? I know you are someone who believes and trusts in the Lord. So why talk this way? Excuse me. Yes. Who? The 
place, wrong number, please. Who was that? Wrong number. Uncle Ken, are you sure? So please, Rose, pull yourself together. Kid, something is wrong. What do you think is wrong? wrong. So, as I was saying, um, we really need. Hello? Yes? Uh, this is Kennedy speaking. From where? From America? Yes? Yes? The operation was successful? Oh, praise God! Oh, okay. Go, 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 Hello? Hello? Yes? No, no. Let, let, me, let me talk to him. I want to be short. Let me speak to him. Hello? Harry! Harry, is this you? You're okay. okay. What about Harriet? Harriet. Harry, what about Auntie Harriet? She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Please, Please go. Go. Honey, I love you, okay? I love you, okay? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Hello, 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 hello. God is good. Please go, Father. Father, you have been so successful. Please go. I knew it. I knew it would be successful. <laughs> surgery operation. Ah, thank God. That's good news now. So why is your face like this? Why is your face like this? It is a good news. But at the same time, it is bad. I don't see what is bad about this news. Can't you? Okay. It is good news because my brother had a successful operation. But it is bad news at the same time. How are we going to face them? I don't the get combat? you. We didn't treat my brother well when he was about to travel. When we were financially down, he came to assist us. He was there for us. He had a kidney problem. And of all the people in this world, he felt his brother was going to assist him. To save a life. But we didn't give him a chance. We felt he was dead. Or rather, we wished him dead. We did not 
give him any hope or encouragement whatsoever. But remember, he was there for us. I mean, we betrayed him. That is the point. You're right. This is serious. We have to do something, and urgently too. Selfishness. I had to sacrifice her joy. God, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm sincerely sorry. I just got a call from Rose to say that she got some message from America. Jesus. Are they, are they okay? Are they dead? No, on the contrary, the operation was immensely successful. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you. This is a thing of joy. Let's be happy. You don't understand, honey. You don't. I don't understand. Would you have rather wanted them dead? No. I am happy the operation was very successful. But you see, after the way we treated them before they left, um, we eventually condemned them to death. I don't have the face with which to face them when they come back here. So, what are we going to do? Did you say we? If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. Shut up. I said, shut up. This is not the time to apportion blames or to look back on the past. We require a solution to our predicament. What do we do when they come back? One more thing, love. Get it straight. We're, both of us are in this together. I hope you know that. assures me that he'll be all right before too long. I know the way you feel. In moments of this nature when we are faced with plenty of temptation, there's a tendency on our part to back away from our God. But I want you to pray constantly. Tell your rosary beads all the time. Look at our blessed mother. Cast your problems at her feet. She will find solutions for all of them. Hmm? Let me hurry along. I'll be coming to see you again, this time in the company of your mother. Hmm? Take heart, daughter. It'll be all right. Hmm? It'll be all right. I see that my daughter is still not happy with me. 
why should she? After all, I am her father. Anyway, I, I don't blame her much because uh, after what she and her husband went through, it is only natural to react the way she's doing. But I will not relent. No, I will not. I shall not die, but live and declare. I shall prosper and be in good health. With long life, shall Jehovah God satisfy me. God says yes, God says yes to me. No one shall see me. Trusting God, never trusting man, for with God all things are possible. With God, with God. Are you weak? Are you weak? Or heavy hearted? Disappointed? By the ones you trust, fear not. There's a way out for you. Put your hope in God. No one can say no. God says yes. No one can say no. God loves me. God loves me. With long life shall be satisfied. I shall not die, but live and declare the words of God in the land of the living. God says yes, God says yes to me. No one can say no. I believe it. No one can say no. I testify to the word that God has spoken. I shall not die. His words and his works in the land of the living God says God is wonderful. He is a God is really wonderful. Do you know that when God says yes, no who man are, can who, say no. Who, who are you? Nobody. Uh -uh. Look at you. Do you know I never would have believed this whole thing would be a thing of the past? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. I mean, anybody looking at me now won't know I went through anything. <laughs> See, God uses people we must thank him but god uses people he does not come down to the earth himself to do something he uses people god chose to use you and my sister so i owe you my life i owe the two of you because if not for what you people did by now i'll be six feet under god forbid <laughs> well harry now you're back I said I should come and collect my people. <laughs> <laughs> give you of <laughs> Ketika. Uh, While you were gone, I thought it necessary to uh, arrange something for you by the time you come back. So I managed, you know, to uh, get a place for you. Hmm? I got you an apartment. Oh, well. So on your return. You can settle back in with your family. Ah, you will not kill yourself to please me now. You know what I was planning, huh? Eh? That if I come back here, salute you and I collect my people, we'll go to the village. At least I did not sell the house in the village. <laughs> we will go there, settle down, and from there I will know how... No, no, no. 
I even uh, am thinking of organizing something small, a small ah. welcome party, at least for the family. Oh, no, no, Kenji, I know when you say small, I know what you are saying. <laughs> ah, thank him for, ah, oh, is it because he's your husband? <laughs> thank him for me. Yeah, this is, uh, thank you. <laughs> and look at you, you are saying here, you didn't know. Come on. It's all right. Thank you so much. It's all right. <laughs> God uses people. Uh, my God. God bless you. Amen. And you replenish you from where you are bringing all of this. God will put it back. Amen. In tenfold. Amen. 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 It's okay. Most important thing is that you're well now. Yes. Uh -huh. Well enough to come. To Give me a few days and you will see me playing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> playing tennis again. Chief, sir. Hmm? Kenneth. Thank God that uh, my brother here, our brother had a successful operation. I want to use this opportunity to to ask for forgiveness of my brother Harry for not uh, standing by him for not being able to help him when he needed me and to make up for this I have here with me parked outside a Mercedes Mercedes V-Boot uh, uh, 5 million Naira check to assist you. I know you must have uh, spent some money. You'll still be good. Um, this is a very happy day. I am happy because I knew that eventually we would all gather this way to celebrate the recovery of my son-in-law. When I went to the Reverend Father to do classes, he assured me that my son-in-law was going to recover. And there it is. Um, I said to myself, how can my only child be widowed at this age? <clears throat> God will not agree. So in order to mark this occasion, <laughs> I have a check here for 10 million. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you have any financial problems, don't hesitate to let me know. Hmm? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Daddy. Huh? Thank you. But Daddy, we can't take it. Huh? My husband and I don't need the money right now. Daddy, I believe that there are so many people out there that could use that money. But we're all right. I want to say thank you again for everything. Thank you. Oh, Rose, Rose, please sit down. Chief, please sit down. I understand how you and your husband feel. But the Bible tells us that without sin, there won't be forgiveness. That same Bible tells us that to err is human, but to forgive, divine. Harry, I really know how you feel. Especially when they refused to give you the assistance they most needed. To you, Rose, I also know how you feel towards your father when he turned your request for financial assistance towards your husband's uh, operation abroad. But please, that is not why I called this gathering. I called this gathering for us to thank God for our brother 
and husband who God saw through a very dangerous operation and he survived it and for us to do that we have to do that with one mind and in one spirit this is not time for us to apportion blame at all I want us to bury the hatchet. Forget everything that has happened and let us look into the future. Uh, Igwe. Uh, uh, perhaps in this whole gathering, it's only you that can talk to me that I will listen. My wife spoke for the two of us when she said that we don't need this. Because God chooses to use men like you. Because if I think back to what my brother Martin did to me, I will not be sitting here. If I think of what my father-in-law did to me, I will not sit down here in the same meeting. In fact, as far as Martin and some of other of my friends were concerned, I was a dead man. God forbid. He might have thought that he did very well by giving me a car. We don't need the car. And I certainly, or we certainly do not need the 10 million or the 5 million. We have more than enough. You have done what we needed for you to do. But God, like I said, He speaks through me. That is why when you talk about forgiveness, I will forgive because the God that I serve has forgiven me. That is why I am standing here today. That is why the operation was successful. We will try to forgive. We will forgive. I will forgive my brother and I will forgive my father. Indeed, we will try to forgive. I have you know, before you. Harry, Harry, I can understand how you feel about come, come. In the name of God. Remember. Please, uh, it's enough. The, the, the heaviness is enough. Huh? Mm -hmm. Are you weak? Are you weak? And hey, hearted. 
disappointed by the ones you trust. Fear not, there's a way out for you. Put your hope in God. When He says yes, no one can say no. Has the world filled you? Trust in God. Is there no way out for you? Just trust in God. He's a friend who cares for you. Trust in God. Yes, no one can say no. I shall not die, but live and declare. I shall prosper and be in good health. With long life, shall Jehovah God satisfy me? God says yes. God says yes to me. No one shall say no. No one can say no. Stand up. Careful. I might be forced to close it. I said this thing in the morning. I think it has not gotten into your head. You said what? Did I commit an offense by marrying you? Of course you did. You committed an offense because you were not qualified to marry me. I think you have gone insane. No, no, no. Millennium Lady of Africa cannot go insane. How can I be insane? Eh? No. Listen, you have changed your body. Everything about you has changed. Eh? Look at it. <laughs> you now enjoy good food. Well garnished food, chicken, fried rice. Eh? Sit on upholstery chairs. Walk on ties all over the place. Ties, ties, ties. <laughs> this has really changed. Uh, I expect you to come and say thank you to me. I say thank you to you. Mm -hmm. That is when I finish it now. Come and say thank ma. Of course. So you are now the owner of this house? Oh, what are you thinking? Hmm? The table has turned to my side now. Uh, well, I agree that you, you were the one that built this.